If you're an extrovert who loves social interaction, conversations with friends, business meetings, and anything in between, but you feel like you want to improve your conversation skills and level up your social skills, this lesson is for you. Just because you might be an extrovert and you might not be suffering from crippling social anxiety doesn't mean that conversation comes easily or naturally to you. Conversation skills can be improved upon just like any other skill. Today, I am sharing three things extroverts can do to level up their social interaction skills. Let's get right to it. All right, my first tip is for you to seek out opportunities. So as an extrovert, you're probably already aware of the goings on, and that's terrific. If you're not as plugged in, but you want to be, then you can join groups that meet up in person or virtually, like online book clubs or meetings or Toastmaster groups, and more opportunities will come onto your radar. The point is to seek out opportunities in the areas that you enjoy doing the social interaction and the communication event but also the ones where you feel like you need to improve. And it's really important to do both so that if you just focus on the ones that you need to improve upon, it doesn't take all the fun out of social interaction and then you just end up dreading it at the end. So don't only focus on communication events that terrify you. I also want you to do the communication events and the social interaction that you enjoy and you have fun doing. Next, I want you to challenge yourself. That's right challenge yourself. So let's say public speaking is something that you feel like you need to improve upon. Then I would highly encourage you to join a public speaking group or a Toastmasters group, somewhere where you have to give speeches quite often and be put on the spot and do public speaking. If you're looking to improve your casual conversation skills, then maybe joining a book club would be more in line with getting you to a comfortable place of making casual conversation. And let's say you want to get better at networking, then I would suggest that you go to networking events. If you want to get better at talking to people in general, then join a meetup group based on some of your interests or things that you're curious about and go from there. And if small talk is frustrating to you, you're not alone. (laughs) Find a way to strike up some small talk every time you meet someone new. And this could just be in whatever you do on a day-to-day basis, right? It could be in just random places that you find yourself around town or in the city, wherever you live, right? So at the bus stop, as you're waiting for the bus or on the platform of the subway or in line at your favorite bagel shop, at your local coffee house, et cetera. Really, wherever you find yourself, there are people and there are opportunities to strike up some small talk in a sincere and friendly way. And if you have phone phobia, again, you're not alone, make more phone calls, right? So the point with this of challenging yourself is to find the type of social interaction that makes you feel a little bit on edge or uneasy. And again, because we're challenging ourselves, we want to go after it instead of shying away from these types of social interaction, whatever really gets us a little bit nervous. And again, the more you practice, the easier it becomes. And number three, evaluate yourself. All right, so after you have the interaction, the phone call, the small talk, whatever social setting slash communication event, I want you to try to take an objective stance, which is a little bit difficult, but try to be as objective as possible while evaluating yourself, right? And it's really important not to be too soft or too hard on yourself. So what I like for this is to imagine what your favorite teacher or your favorite mentor, even if you haven't met them in person, what they would say to you, what kind of advice would they give you? What feedback would they share? Put yourself in their shoes when you're doing this exercise. So if your mentor is Tim Ferriss, how would Tim Ferriss give you feedback? Or if your favorite professor from college, Professor Kelly, heard your speech or your phone call, what kind of pointers would they provide? All right. So once you evaluate yourself, you should take some notes and come up with an action plan. This part's really important because 
we can get as much feedback as we want, but if we don't act on it and we don't know how to incorporate it in our day-to-day and in our action plan, so to speak, then we might as well have not really gotten any feedback, right? What's the point then if we don't do anything with it? So the action plan should be the steps that you can take toward further improvement. For example, at the next social interaction, the next communication event you're finding yourself in, you might choose to talk less and listen more, right? This might be a point of feedback. Or let's say at your next speech for Toastmasters, maybe you need to have a sharper hook at the beginning of your presentation to grab the audience's attention. Whatever it is, make those notes and take those action plans seriously so that you can level up with those steps. All right, so those are the three ways that extroverts can level up their communication skills. Remember, social interaction is a living, breathing phenomenon. We have to practice it. You can also think of it as a muscle, right? If we don't use it, it atrophies. So we gotta use our communication muscles. Conversations take on lives of their own. It's a magical and fun journey to go on every time you interact with someone, new or old, doesn't matter. Just try to build rapport every time that you engage with another individual. All right, so let's quickly recap on the three things that extroverts can do to level up their skills. Seek out opportunities with friends, social gatherings, meetups, networking events, Toastmasters, whatever you'd like. Two, challenge yourself, practice the hard stuff, don't shy away from it. Three, evaluate yourself in as objective a way as possible. Ask yourself how the interaction went, make the points, and figure out what the next steps are for that action plan, like talk less, listen more, etc. So practice those strategies, make them your own, and keep them in your communication toolkit. Remember, practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes progress, and that's what we're going for. Not every social interaction is going to be flawless, and it doesn't have to be. Extroverts have their moments of social anxiety too, and that is okay. Learn from those interactions and get better with each conversation. When you're confident and you're comfortable, that will set the tone for a great conversation to take place. And above all, enjoy the conversations you have because that is the most important thing. All right, Explorers, that's it for me today. I'd love to hear your own ideas for how extroverts can become even better at social interaction and level up their communication skills. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to join our tribe of Explorers so that you never miss a lesson. And make sure that notification bell is turned on so that you don't skip any new lessons or updates from us over here at Explorning. And if you love this lesson, please be sure to let us know. You can give this video a thumbs up on YouTube and share it with whoever you think would really enjoy these communication skills lessons. All right, with that, I will see you in the next exploring lesson. Bye for now and happy exploring, everyone.